Hey everybody, welcome to Station 6. And this is a really sad story, part of Peter's disowning the Christ. And so Jesus is on trial in this house, and Peter is standing out in the courtyard, kind of like the, the front yard of the house, enclosed by a, a wall and a gate. And so he's sitting out in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him. You also were with Jesus of Galilee, but he denied it before them all. I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Then he went out to the gateway. So he's getting a little further away, right? He's, he's moving out of this house where another servant girl saw him and said to the people there, this fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again, this time with an oath. I swear I don't know the man. After a little while, those standing there went up to Peter and said, surely you are one of them. Your accent gives you away. And we know that, you know, Peter is from Galilee. The Galileans, they all had accents, a very strong accent, you know, kind of like how in America we have southern accents and a, a New Jersey accent or a New York accent or a Chicago accent. And so Peter has this accent that, you know, just gives him away. He's, this guy is not from around here. And so Peter, trying to save himself, began to call down curses. And he swore to them, I don't know the man. And, you know, these curses, this would have been a pretty, pretty drastic thing. He's... Um, Peter is losing it. He's not in control of himself anymore. He's just beside himself with fear. He doesn't want to be found out for who he is. And immediately a rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken. Before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. And so we see the man who defended Jesus with a sword in the garden a few hours earlier is brought down by words. And, um, you know, sometimes our betrayal is not motivated by money, but by our need for social acceptance. Sometimes we're willing to do those hard things, that our integrity can take a hit. But when it comes to having to actually stand up for what we believe in, sometimes we all just turn around like Peter and run.